Six o'clock. Um, I'm going to call the regular select board meeting to order. Uh, first thing is set adjust agenda. Um, we need that. I, we have a bunch. Of I stuff. have them. A bunch um, that we're taking off. No. No. Oh. no. Um, add an item eight select board to consider authorization of an application for community services grant of five thousand dollars from the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Add an item number nine. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. That was number eight. Yeah. Number eight. Eight. No, eight. Solid waste district grant. Okay. Yeah. MSP grant. Um, okay. Number nine. add an item nine, <laughs> select board to discuss the revised price for the Caspian Avenue tax sale property. And add an executive session pursuant to one BSA three thirteen for a legal matter. Uh, Which the last one was my fault. Sorry, and then executive. We're adding. Yeah. What was the number for that, Casey? It's the one BSA three thirteen. Please guilty. So I can. Are there any other additions? That's it. I can motion to add an uh, item number eight community service solid waste district grant a number nine Caspian Ave tax sale adjustment at an executive session for one Second. BSA three thirteen. <coughs> any other? Shouldn't Changes. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We have an adjusted agenda. Next communication from the audience. The, that's why I was right on time. I was trying to find the audience. Trying time. to find the audience? <laughs> yeah. But you couldn't, could you? Sure, All right. Yeah. Maple syrup and brown. Select board, next is select board to approve minutes. We had two, we have our regular minutes uh, from our regular meeting on March 16th and we had a special meeting on March 23rd. Move to approve minutes for both meetings. Second. Any uh, comments or questions, clarifications on the minutes? I thought they looked good. Thank you to people taking notes. All in favor of accepting the minutes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. I will sign those. Next, town manager report given by David Upson, Jr. So first of all, I just want to say that we have a, the baseball team had a scrimmage today down at Blue Mountain. It's going on right now. It was the first time they've been outside this year. They've been in, practicing in the gym. So good luck to them. Um, fire station roof, we had some leaking going on this spring. Um, we will be putting out that putting that work out for bid. The question for the board is standing seam or asphalt. After July 1, we will have over 50,000 to work with in the building's capital. I don't think that's going to cover a standing seam roof. Is that uh, 50,000 for the entire building's capital or yes. just for that building? That's the that's what we have in the bank. That's for that building. Yeah. So for, the, for, that, for that building. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Uh, ever since Mary will put them on. Right. That's a good long time for so shingles. That's probably 20 years. More. Shingles are yeah, 20 it's been years. 30 years, probably. Yeah. Because yeah. Bum was working, Bagley and Bum yes. were working. Well, more. that's what we were wondering if Bum was still working for them then. Yeah, Bagley when, and Bum. When they did it. When they did that. And if we're thinking about moving the fire station, yeah. it's someday. I don't know if so we, I don't know if that's in the next 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> realistically, still. 20 years. Yeah. But well, you can get quotes for both and come yeah. back to us. So, yeah. but you're structurally right, that not, thing, what about weight? Structurally, that thing has made had major issues. It's been repaired. I gotta believe it still has major issues. I mean, all we did is repair it. It wasn't, you know. So my only question would be to wait. The weight load. What's the difference? But it wouldn't. So but standing I think asphalt's standing. heavier, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's why it collapsed. That's why it's collapsed. It's got okay. asphalt on it now. Yeah. And standing seam, it might the snow might slide. You're talking off standing too. seam or just metal? Right. No, I'm talking standing seam. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the roof design way back was for metal, yeah. and at the time, Ronnie wanted to replace it with standing yeah. seam. Yep. Because just because of the pitch of the roof, the metal that was on there was right. you know very yeah, yeah, low, that. and it was leak, leaking in there like a sieve. But then the site board said, no, it costs too much. Yep. So by the time all the roof collapsed and caved in, by the time they ended up pushing stuff up, it was cheaper to do standing seam back then. So it would have been cheaper. It would have been, yes. Yeah, because yeah, now we Absolutely. have two steel I-beams inside. Yeah, it was amazing. And to push the floor back up. Then you had the sister, I think just about every yeah. truss in here with yeah. two 2 by 12s 
Good to see you in Good to see you It was a major one. Wow. So more to come on that. I'm going to get votes yeah. yeah. for a vote. I think there's going to yeah. be a substantial price difference. Yeah. yeah. I yes. Do. I do too. I, you know, I was talking to Mike Brochel about it, and he figured, not without labor, he figures just this metal itself would probably be somewhere around 30 to 35. Wow. Yeah. That's a local price. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> for, for what he's been doing yeah. for roofs and stuff, you know, for what he's been doing. So, yeah. So, yeah, figure it out. Yeah. Okay. I thought this was my report. It is. Okay. <laughs> you just chime in like you usually cut in on me. So. Right. <laughs> um, so, Better Connections Grant, as many of you watched or read on WCAX, the town was awarded close to $68,000 in the Better Connections program with an option for another 30,000 for a clean water project through the Agency of Natural Resources. We will work with the community and consultants to develop a master plan for East Hardwick Village. A completed master plan will open up additional grant opportunities to complete projects identified in the plan. In order for this program to work the way it was designed, we will need input from residents through a series of public forums over the course of the project. So this is, this is a great thing for East Hardwick Village because they're a designated village center, we get this master plan in place, we can look for more grant funds to be able to do more projects there. Mm -hmm. Long overdue. So, sorry I'm, if I'm You're fine. confused, but, yeah. um, so is the grant to help us do that master plan? Correct. Okay. To hire someone. So we'll hire someone. Hire yep. someone. Okay, good, perfect. Yep, yep. perfect. So this, and it's, in, it's also gonna, we need to pull out community input. Yeah, so, all good. And there's, I think there's a ton of community input in East Hardwick that we, mm -hmm. we want to pull out. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is going to be great. Um, we received one bid for the memorial building roof project here for the repair in the slate um, for $10,503. We, we have that uh, preservation trust grant or yeah. historic preservation grant. So, for historic yeah. um, so we'll just we'll either need to. I want to. We the one um, bid that we got. I want to just check the references because yep. it's a fairly new company. Yeah. It's not an overly complicated project. So, but we definitely. Will it, is it just the slate? Are we also going to paint the trim? Some flashing. Yeah. No, the paint isn't on there, but. Okay. So that wasn't part of the RFP. Okay. Some point the trim is the trim and the, those little windows too. Yeah, looking a little bit rough. And then that would be like the next step to do like a window thing. Window uh, windows. Yeah. 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 Or just oh, finish yeah. the window <clears throat> project that got started a long time ago. Sure. And complete with and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Well, there were there were storm windows installed <coughs> on some of the lower. Some. Yeah, it didn't. The whole yeah. project didn't get that. But even the storm windows are mm -hmm. a little iffy. Um, so this is for more for future conversation, but I want to put this out there on your radar. Um, Jackie Casino of B Trans has reached out with a proposal to further develop the property near the S curves on Route 15. You know where the bridge is mm -hmm. up there? That's laid on the ground. The proposal requests. Um, if, if we decide, yes, this is a trailhead, we want to use this as a trailhead, and they provide signage, like they're providing signage here, um, we could, we would take over the routine maintenance, including like trash pickup and winter plowing, if we want to make it a year-round trailhead. So that where does she have, where specifically is she suggesting? So, you know, if you're headed out of town on Route 15, right before you get to the first nasty corner, there's a pull-off. On the left. On the left, mm -hmm. right there. Okay. And there's access people to the trail. People use it for like a park and ride. Yeah. It's also yeah. people use it for dumping trash. They right? do. Yeah, it's a... It's people dump a, tires and furniture and stuff there. It's, it's easy access to the LVRT. It's easy access to the river. I don't know... Is it safe? That Give the, it a the, the sight lines coming yeah. out of there are tricky. Yeah. Um, I think it's used locally. I just, I don't know if this is the best. Is this something she thinks she'd like to see happen for the rail trail or is she just floating the idea? Or? I think it's more of a floating the idea. Like they're going along the trail and seeing what properties are available. So is that, 
But this wasn't identified in our... Yeah. Well, some of the folks were talking about it, though. Oh, yeah, the an access yeah. point there? And within that... Concerned what's going to happen on the So in that request yeah. was, what do we want to do with Wright Farm Road? Do we want to make that a year-round trailhead? Or just keep it to, as a local, vast location for people? Well, it's actually a bass trailhead. Right. The one. right. And we got permission to do it. I was assured, the one. I was assured we could stay a trailhead yeah. throughout the Yellow Barn project. But it should also just be general parking down there, too. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah, people but it should be a little bit improved. It could be. Yeah. I don't know. It's not mine. I know, but I'm saying. Like, I can tell you all the improvements that have been made there, I've done. Right. <laughs> so it was No, I'm not it saying it's bad, I started, but it could so. be, there could be a little more parking, a little more gravel down there. There certainly could be. And the town gave the gravel, I did the Oh, work. really? Yeah. Okay. I think my opinion, which if, if it matters, um, we have this consortium grant to identify trailheads mm -hmm. along in Hardwick, and we have the ability to identify two trailheads. I believe that we have mm -hmm. identified two. And we have identified two and I'd like to see I'd like to see that information come <laughs> forward. However it's fifteen months out. Yeah, they said eighteen months, right? Wow. The grant is No the, the actual like the results. The oh. So I think people are gonna use both of those locations to access the LDRT. Is there any harm in just having some basic signage? there to just like, because people are using it anyway. Yeah, I, I People hear, park I, here no matter what, like could we do bare minimum to just. So who, the question is who provides the signage? Yes. And if somebody puts signage up, then it's kind of like, we're on the hook. To Who's going to take care of the trash? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I guess I'm, con I'm confused. I thought that that land that we're talking about in the S-turns was state. Land. It is. It is. And the state Hardly. also, so the state through VTrans also has the rail, which has the LVRT on it. Correct. So why don't they just do it? But they want to they don't care take care of it. But why don't they take care of it? Because they're not going to take care of it. Really the the I, can, I can send Jackie that question in, in the form of an email, because I told her we'd have a meeting tonight. I mean, what are other, like, I, that would be my first question. Like, you own it, you own the rail trail, why don't you just make it a trailhead? Yeah. Makes sense to me. And, because and they don't want to maintain they, it. Yeah. They don't want to have to maintain it. Why don't they want to make? Like, I think it's worth asking the question. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Well, they maintain. Jerry just gave me the answer. <laughs> they maintain I mean, the parking area. Ask the question. Because you know. Right. Do they, they call that? What do they call uh, it? Uh, Moosehead. Yeah. 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 They maintain that. They plow that out. out right. Well, it would right. be easier for their trucks to plow it because it's on the highway. Yeah, they They're so plowing by there anyway. It'd be a pain for us to drive up just on the highway. I think. I mean, I. Are you noticing the silence here? <laughs> I'd love it if you would ask the question. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you, you can say the select board wants to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. What are we gonna talk Everybody about? but Danny, because he already knows. The cherry. <laughs> I think we all already know. I just want I just want to yeah, ask the question and say, yeah. yep, I wanted to say it. <laughs> I wanted to say it. I wasn't going to. Okay. It's not, I think it's just the one to do. Okay. All right. Um, oh, good where are we at? Those are really good. The last bullet from my okay. oh. week manager report. Sludge, sludge, sludge. Due to the ongoing three bullets. PFAS crisis, we are scrambling to find a location to dispose of our dewatered sludge from Lagoon 1. We currently have two potential locations. One is far away and more costly, and the other is not available until July, which doesn't work with our timelines. We have another round of sludge testing and are crossing our fingers that Anglo and Quebec will open back up in an early summer for composting, which is the most cost effective at this point. So you had said that like a, a possible, um, somebody had suggested that a, a possible backup plan was to pump all the sludge into the lagoon we just cleaned out. Correct. Which doesn't sound very appealing to me because you just cleaned it out. Correct. Yeah. So are you saying now that it looks like even there might be a cost a price penalty, but it looks like we'll be able to ship it off site. Yeah, but okay. it's far away. Which well, costs more. It's on the other side of New York. It's in uh, Seneca Meadows in New York. So wow. it's near Rochester, so it's six hours. 
one way. Yeah, and so we just did some sludge judges in the lagoon to see where we're at with sludge. And we're gonna crunch some numbers and to see how far over budget we would be on that lagoon cleanup. And then meanwhile, you're monitoring to see if the one in Quebec opens up. Right. Yeah. So we're just, we're on a kind of a time crunch for the upgrade because mm -hmm. they wanna get started and once we start that clock, then we have to keep moving. Yeah. So we're trying to not delay, but we're just trying to make sure that we have all our ducks in a row. And I think we're good until the very latest end of uh, May before we start. <clears throat> we'll have to drop the lagoon levels mid-May to prepare for June okay. clean up. So I'm hoping to have an answer soon. Got so it. that's what's going on. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff going on, but yeah. those are the big ones. Yeah. And unofficially, but officially, we got another $200,000 uh, for the bridge. Wow. Uh, yeah, that came out yesterday. From? The Department of Transportation grant that we wrote. Nice. Which was only available. Because we're designated downtown. Wow. So within two months of becoming a designated downtown, which I'll remind you, I've been working on since 2014. That seems longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Within two months, we... It took you that long to get it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't I'm just being funny. stir the pot. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Already sweating. You did good. You did good. All right. So, yeah. That's so, we have time. our bridge funding, hopefully. That, I think that would bring us up to pretty close to full. When are we building the bridge? Soon. We're, chuck we're chucking away. We made all the decisions, right? We're good to... We got some stuff that we need to check no, out the list. Yeah. Are we still waiting on anything? There are some holdups. Yeah. On the on the um, abutments. No, no. The, really, the holdups are being Related able to paperwork. Keep being able to move forward with USDA feeling comfortable enough to move forward with with what we have and don't have. It's, it's kind of an unorthodox project. Like if we would go out to bid mm -hmm. and a contractor would purchase the bridge, and in this situation, we're purchasing the bridge. Oh. The town is purchasing yep. the yep. bridge. So it's, uh, I see. we need to get this section 106 done, which mm -hmm. is. Okay, so there's stuff to do. Yeah. The timeline is messed up and. Next summer. Now it might we'll not happen it. in the fall. Really? If it doesn't, if we'll things know, don't we'll fall together soon. really soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it's that thing. Yikes. Bureaucracy. Welcome to Vermont. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll stun you better off to bypass the whole state stuff. <laughs> and just do it. It's, this is the federal government. Yeah. They got the money. The trouble is, yeah, they're, they've got the money. Yeah. Yeah. But all right. that's my report. I'm Thank you. To it. <laughs> Thank you. It's all fault. <laughs> Next up, Tom Fadden. Give us the road report. Roads are great right now. Full potholes, but that's it. Uh, we've had a couple of soft spots, uh, but overall, I think they are really good this year. Uh, of course, uh, Dave had to twist my arm, so we had to go up and grade his road first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it was rough. Yeah, Not true. Was it? Not true. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so we got West Hill graded. Uh, parts of Bunker we did, uh, except for where it was very wet, and that was last week. Uh, you know, great stuff in between what we had been trying to grade through. We uh, graded a couple weeks ago with a plow. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did that too. Yeah. Uh, today we ended up uh, fixing the spot on Montgomery with just a little bit of stone up on the farther end. It weren't bad, but it was a little bit ruddy, but we know why it was. Uh, a couple places on Bailey Haven Road, and then uh, earlier this morning, and then by mid morning, we started rolling them over. So we started up on Dimmick Road. Worked their way over to Mountain View and Ward Hill. Uh, tomorrow, I think they're either going Hopkins Way or Bridgman Way, that way. And then, if the weather's true to it's what it's supposed to be, we should have pretty well all the main drags and everything done by next week. Right. If it holds up. So I think it should be in pretty good shape by the end of next, next week. Uh, we started uh, cleaning up the intersections, you know, the aprons, uh, down by Marsh Road, washing them down south and scrape them. Uh, so we're working our way back into town. We'll be going out in Macdill and then doing the bridges and stuff like that and getting those washed down. Uh, the guys uh, got off all the wings off the trucks. I ain't going to use them no more. Uh, 
Um, I took, uh, uh, cleaned out my truck today, took the wing off, put the chloride tank in there. So, because I know next week oh, if it's good, we're going yeah. to the living heck out of them. Good. Uh, so we should go set up for that. Uh, then, oh, probably starting Monday, we're going to the village, starting scraping down some of the heavier set dirt and stuff. Then we'll start using our own uh, sweeper itself. Uh, I know Casey's got the uh, e email back guy for the street sweeper. First choice was the week of May 8th, and then the next two weeks after that. So whichever one, one, one we get. So we'll go from there. Great. Very yeah. little problem with the sewer. <coughs> Stuff. And then we'll put it out there now and the ne next meeting that we're going to be flushing hydro yes. the last week. Last week in, yes. Last week in April. And, the, and on that week too, we got an M-Shop class over in Barton we have to go to. So. A what class? M-Shop. It's it, a lot of pits, or pits now. They're not allowing you to permit to go into their pits without going through, through this class. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah. Definitely Just can't work there and run equipment in there without yep. having an hmm. so. <clears throat> so. no. Great, no good to go. You guys are scheduling the vacations. So. And I, I'm wondering if we use, I know the notification, I don't want to abuse the emergency notification email thing. For the water. But for the water, but I'm debating on whether to do an announcement for the hydrogen flushing. I think it would be appropriate, but. I think it would be. I just don't want that email to be over Well, the it, it could be, it could be a test. I mean, See what we get for feedback. Yeah. You should, we should be using it once yeah. or twice a year, regardless of whether it's just right. a test or, right. I think it's a great test, you know, a great, yeah. great use. Let's make sure to see what happens. I'm happy sure. to get those emails. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, you could explain that in the email, right? You could say that this is also serving as a, Maybe it shouldn't be called get, the emergency. Maybe get feedback. Yeah. It, well, it's, it's just a notification. Yeah, you're right. We, we can, didn't uh, call it. I just don't want to abuse it, you know, because right. if you do it too much, then people overlook it. I don't think it, yeah. it's not too much, I don't think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's why I didn't sign up. I have signed up for those things and get yeah. inundated and just thought, yeah. you know, I've got other ways to find it out. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. No. You really get grit in your teeth. Drinking water. <laughs> All right. That's good for you. Next up is we'll brown that hurt. No, I trust. Next up is Harvard Police Department report given by Police Chief Mike Henry. So uh, we're starting off about three weeks ago. The uh, West Hill where Peter went out for us. Uh, so we lost greater yeah. communication. Um, we've been having intermittent problems with it um, for the last year, and you know, we're trying to diagnose it well. Just trying to do a catastrophic, catastrophic failure and uh, had a bunch of communications go up there. They looked at it, they pulled it apart. Uh, it was turned out that it was a uh, station control module that went bad. There was a capacitor in there that uh, um, basically melted down. Um, and initially, when, when I talked to them, they were looking at uh, to repair it was going to be $2,500 to $3,000. It's a 10 year old system. I got a rough ballpark figure of 12 grand to put it in. This is, yeah, it's a 10 year old system. Ballpark figure of uh, 12 grand to put a new system in. So we were trying to find some funding for that. In the meantime, we came up with a uh, used control module that they were able to put in there. And uh, they have it up and running right now. So, all in all, it, I mean, this cost us about a thousand bucks. But, uh, hmm. I couldn't see putting money into a 10-year-old electronic system, that much money into it. So we were debating on uh, trying to come up with the money to start all over. But uh, it's working really well now. Uh, guys, they just got it done today. The guys have been out testing it. Uh, again, they think maybe that control module has been going, and that's why we had an intermittent problem. So fingers crossed so that we good. Um, the vast snow wheel patrol, I think we're done now. But I just put together some stats from it. I think uh, I think it was a good thing. Um, I thought I had five, but there's only four there. I don't know if you good. So just looking at some of the numbers there, what we did. Uh, I understand the numbers, you can see what they are. But, uh, um, you know, I just put, uh, we covered 774 miles of the vast trail. Uh, 
uh, while we were out there. Uh, total hours out of the trail was 163 hours. We uh, ended up doing uh, 89 checkpoints during that time and wrote uh, nine tickets and 42 warnings. So that's kind of what we did for the, uh, the Bass Trail. That was all covered by Bass as well. So they covered. Um, covered as in paid for? Paid for. Paid for. Paid for. So we got extra patrol here in Hardwick and surrounding towns as well. Uh, we went out, but the majority of the time we've spent here in Hardwick with that. Uh, the other thing I just kind of put together, just first quarter report, uh, just kind of looking at uh, what we've done at the office uh, so far. Uh, we've covered uh, you know, 574 incidents, uh, 61 resulted in criminal uh, charges. Most of those have gone to the uh, Restorative Justice Center. Um, but again, I messed up. Those are uh, the arrests and what type of arrests that were out there. Our Restorative Justice is out of St. Jay now? Uh, we have it out of our office. Oh, you do? Yes. It's, right. But it's, so it is out of St. Jay. It's, they, they have a hard link. A satellite? Yeah. A satellite. Nice. Mike Belnick is the uh, representative now. He's new. Uh, he just uh, came here in January. Uh, we did have somebody else here, but uh, uh, when two Faulkner left, Mike is a resident in the area, so it works out good. We're trying to work with restorative justice to uh, kind of have them uh, do uh, uh, community service time here in Harvard. That's kind of the goal. Uh, Tom's agreed to help out with that, get people to work. Got uh, work on the uh, sewer plan as well, so it's just trying to get the right person, mm -hmm. the right, right area. Great, Mike. This is the first time we, you've done this rail trail yes. thing. How mm -hmm. do these numbers compare to what you, in the back of your head, thought was probably going to be the situation? As far as numbers, as far as like the the, the, the kind of incidents, the kind of you're talking about the vast, the trail. vast, yeah. yeah. Um, that's, that's about normal. Uh, I've done the vast trail through state police, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> we actually spent more time on the trail because, with, because our machine was right there on the trail. So a lot of time, the, uh, the travel time, uh, getting to the trail end or wherever, you know, you might have an eight-hour day, but you may only put four or five hours maybe on the trail, mm -hmm. where we were able to uh, be out on the trail a lot more. Um, the inspections were up. I think word was out there that we were there. Uh, so I think that uh, you know, we didn't have the serious violations that have been going on around here in the past. And it's not just the rail trail that we covered. It was all the vast trail. Mm -hmm. so. Great. It met but did not exceed your expectations. <laughs> exceed as far as? Just more, more trouble, more. It was manageable. Yeah, it was manageable. You know, you're always going to have, you know, a couple complaints here and there, but I think for the most part, uh, you know, getting out there, be, having the presence out there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of our, the big things is it's speed, and it's also some of the loud machines that are out there, some that have the uh, aftermarket exhaust. So once word got out there, I think people. Mm -hmm. so. Mike, it's great. It's awesome to have the quarterly report. Maybe for the next quarter, it would be. I know it's it's just the first quarter. Yeah. It would just be helpful to have like a comparison. A comparison or like this is maybe it's just like this is something that is new that we got. You know, I don't like. I don't know enough about the history of the arrests that we have. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like a lot, mm -hmm. um, which is good. But I also like don't have the. It would just reference. be a, a reference yeah. point, or maybe it's something like um, theft is up by two, or whatever. I don't know. Right. You know, like that kind of yeah, thing yeah, yeah. would be would be great. It's not a benchmark. What's that? We benchmark. Have, we have revenue. Are you doing the DCA? Are you presenting the revenues? Yeah, later. Please do. Yeah. Some of that will be in there. Okay, awesome. Yeah. It t the timing's great. Not a like historical quarter. thing, but just like where we're at. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't even have to be like a big thing. It can just be like we've noticed from these numbers, like a couple things are lower, a couple things are higher. Mm -hmm. 
would be help, would be yeah. trends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I, I totally agree, and it'd be awesome if you could do that. I just would caution us all that the numbers are so small that things that look like trends right. Right. may not be trends. Yeah. 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 It doesn't even have to be the numbers. It can just be you saying, like, this is something we've noticed, which I think you're really good at doing. Yeah, I think he's done that. Um, yeah. So, just, it's great. Yeah. So, uh, moving on, one of the other things I want to talk about was uh, starting uh, the children's advocacy centers that are around. Uh, one is in St. J, one is in uh, High Park. They're a little bit too far for us. And they don't really get utilized all that much. Uh, what they're meant for is interviewing victims of uh, you know, domestic and sexual assault, uh, mainly children uh, under the age of 18. Uh, so it's difficult for us because uh, the DCF comes from uh, Morrisville, uh, and then sometimes the victim advocate comes from St. Jay or vice versa. <coughs> so what we've decided to do is to have basically a satellite uh, CAC here in Hartwick. We have the senior center, we found the perfect room right there. Uh, the, the CAC cannot be, you can't be bringing victims in through a police office. So the fact that we have that senior center and we can come around from that side, uh, that would put us in compliance with that. Um, so I don't think it'll cost much to uh, get this going. Um, all of it is throwing some carpet down, throwing some paint. We got the paint there. One of the uh, one of the smaller rooms. Yep, one of the smaller rooms that are there mm -hmm. on the right, like the old office. In the back. So in the, in yep. the back, in yep. the reception area, there's an office. Yep. It was, it was a storage closet. It had all the chairs from the uh, library. They've been stored in there. So I just pull those out, uh, put some carpet down. You know, make it kid friendly, that type of thing. Um, we hope it doesn't get utilized all that much, but you, you know, it's important to have it. It's important to have it there. So where does it co where coordinate with that? Where okay. does it help with that at all? Where does it help? So aware. now what we can aware. Do, oh, uh, not necessarily aware. Oh. Um, it would be. Uh, so the way we got to work right now is that the CAC in St. Johnsbury would send an advocate down to work with us. Yep. Um, we have uh, myself and Paul Bernard, our forensic child interviewers, so we would be able to do the cases right there, um, start them, and then work them from that point. Okay. So also DCF, I would be open for them to utilize as well. Um, again, we're just trying to match. It's basically this. just a secure place that isn't with it in the police department. Right. It also, if we go through, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if we go through the Child Advocacy Center, the investigations are covered by the Child Advocacy mm -hmm. Grant. We're working on that. <clears throat> and if we can have a satellite office mm -hmm. and do the, do the investigations here in Hardwick with that facility, uh -huh. then we can do those investigations and have them be paid for by that grant. Right. And yep. that's, down, that's in the works. That's in the works. There's there's a lot of strings attached to that money, which we've, we've had in the past. Um, what they've always wanted is us to assign a detective, but they wanted that detective to go out and go into other towns and work as well, yeah. whenever there's a case there, which has been difficult. And then also having to report back to St. Johnsbury uh, and go to the meetings there, monthly, you know, weekly meetings and that type of stuff. It's just, there's a lot of strings, and I don't think the town can afford that. You know, uh, for the amount of money they're going to give you. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think mean, it's to a quarter of what it would cost to put them back into that position. Uh, I'll keep working on it. But it sounds like this room, in the event that you do have a local victim, it's, it seems to me it would be less traumatic to just bring them into a place in Hardwick rather right. than bringing them, you know, partway across the state, right. know, trying to make them relaxed. Yeah. We've had to do that, you know, in one case in particular, we had to go all the way to Mary, wow. um, you know, just because of where the person's at and services and everything else. So, um, yeah, I think that will Yeah, awesome. that would be good. Um, one other thing, now that it's warming up, I, I'm going to try to look for some grants for, uh, I'm thinking e-bikes. Uh, mm -hmm. I think e-bikes are a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. So if anybody has any... You know, 
Uh, I'm looking for some feedback here. If anybody has any ideas on grants or anything like that to get uh, two e bikes for the police department. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Wonder. Yeah, I'll think about. It. Yeah. I knew somebody would. Now are you going to use the turn Are you going to patrol a little LBRT with that? What's that? Yes. Poop Thank patrol. Dog, dog poop patrol. Dog Horse poop. poop. Running over it. <laughs> no, <laughs> make sure they clean it up. <laughs> I think also just for downtown Hardwick, it would be a really yeah. expedient yeah. way to be like. Well, they've had the bikes community. before, right? You got bikes. Yeah, but it's not e-bikes. Well, I mean, no, Hardwick's pretty hilly. You can scoot back. Back in the day when officers <laughs> used to be physically fit. <laughs> oh. I think they should be pedaling. I don't think they should be. Active. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Paul Barnard was out there today. Yeah, you are. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Early adopter. Oh, man. It's early in the year. Yeah. It was nice. He said it's a good day, good day to get out there. Yeah, it was nice. nice. Do, you, do your e-bikes have to be tricked out in, in a way that pedestrian <laughs> e-bikes don't have to be? <laughs> well, there wouldn't be governors. Yeah. Yeah. You can go 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Like like that. That. They put the baseball cards in the wheels. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you coming. Yeah, yeah. I, can hear you. I like it. You look too, too like hard. Bar. Basket. Yeah. No light bar. We're not. We're not stopping people. <laughs> yeah, no motor vehicle stops. So, so if somebody got one and was disappointed with it, or for whatever reason couldn't use it, could they donate it to the police department? Absolutely, yeah. Boy, I should check with Phil, though. Or they could donate it to the town manager's office. <laughs> <laughs> and he he's got, pass he wants to upgrade it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's got yeah. some rentals. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not Monday through Friday. <laughs> Sounds like the wheels are turning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's all I wanted to do, get the wheels turning. Yeah. That's, great. <laughs> That's all I got. All right, thank you. Now you guys can get on with the rest of your All show. right, we're going to move on. Next, uh, the moment that uh, Tanya has been waiting for, the select board to consider approval of several liquor licenses is item one. Um, and they are liquor and tobacco. Liquor and tobacco. And they are, what are they? Walgreens and DG Retail LLC doing business with Dollar General, and then Walgreens again for tobacco. Oh, those first two were Make a motion one. that we uh, approve the requests for Walgreens and Dollar General for class second class liquor license and Walgreens Eastern for tobacco license. Second. Any discussion? Any, any problems with any of these? Nope, says so on the bottom. She wrote on the bottom, but we don't have any. Nice. Thank you. So, um, Thanks, Thank you. all in favor of approving these, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you. Thanks. Next is, uh, next is item two, select board to consider approval of a three-year IBEW contract for Highway Department Collective Bargaining Unit. Um, the, this was in our folder. the contract was in our online folder. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did read it, and I thought I had one question, but now I don't remember what it was. It was minor anyway. I can motion to approve the three-year IBEW contract for the Highway Department Collective Bargaining Unit. Can Second. You authorize me to sign it. And I can authorize our town manager to sign it. And and Wiz offers the second. Mm -hmm. Uh, any questions about the contract? It's, uh, you know, as budgeted for, essentially, right? Um, no, there's a little bit of a problem with that. Um, I didn't communicate to our business manager in the final moments of some of the, um, the negotiations. So we, we have, we're going to be over budget in labor for the first year because we went the opposite direction of the increases. Switched them. We switched them last minute. So there's gonna be a little bit of a hiccup for FY24. Okay. For okay. Us. And that's my fault. Within our regular margin of error kind of hiccup or it's gonna blow us out of the water? Of the salaries, 2% of the salaries, oh. probably like 10 grand or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's within that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. regular you know, fluctuations. I mean, I know about yeah. it because yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure we can make it up yeah. in yeah. other areas. It was areas just so we switched the percentages but, around. Yeah, it's right. just, we didn't. I see. Yeah. yeah. That was my fault. Okay, but it's, a, it's gonna be within. He's taking the bullet. Yeah. But it's gonna be within our 
I yes. mean, yeah. This was my first round of contract negotiations, and you did great. I will. I've learned from it, and hopefully, I can be around for the next round yeah. of contract <laughs> negotiations. But um, hopefully, you don't learn too much because you'll be negotiating yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not like that. But, so yeah, there's just that little tiny. Yeah. So. But that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So, uh, any other questions about it? All in favor uh, of um, approving and having the town manager to sign the labor contract, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thanks for working on that. And thanks to our highway department. I just wanted to offer a shout out that our roads have been good. I appreciate all the work through the winter and then upcoming through the summer and appreciate that we have a dedicated crew here all the time. They have great attitudes. They come, it's, they show up, it's, they do the work. It's a good thing. Yeah. I like and they it. take comp time. You know, they, they Not a lot of people know how, what a big favor. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, a, it's actually a huge favor. It's huge. Yeah. Um, as long as it works out for everybody. Right. Right. All right. So next up, item three, select board to discuss next steps for the gravel pit purchase. So what are our next steps? The next steps are to finalize the purchase and sales. Yeah. We met with Kenny on Monday, talked to him about the leased area um, for the topsoil. And we're going to do a separate lease outside of the purchase and sales after the closing. So he's going to lease back a certain area where he's got stock, uh, yes. topsoil for, stockpiled. For 10 years. I don't know why I have a hard time saying yeah. that. Okay. Um, and then there is a um, telecommunications easement option um, that we're going to have a, that's going to be an area where along the border of the property for the construction of a road if and only if there was um, a, the, an erection of a tower, um, if e either on that side of the road, but most likely, or it, there's a 50-50 chance it could be on the other side of the road too, not on the, the gravel pit property. Um, that'll all be outlined in the purchase and sales, um, which we're hoping to have finalized by the end of April. So would that easement last? How long does that last? Uh, that'd be for the lifetime of the seller, and then it would revert to the town. Seems like a long time. Anyway. Well, Kenny's I'm not. 70. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> done well. All right. All right. Sounds good. Um, what else do we have for, so you're working on purchase and sale? We're working on finalizing all that. And then okay. we hope to have. Um, Bond application is due by May 15th. Yep. And then that closes like at the end of July or August. Um, if we need to close before that, we can just fund it and get reimbursed with bond proceeds. Um, and I think the biggest thing was all of the talk at town meeting about using some fund balance mm -hmm. um, and where the select board was thinking about that. Um, if we're moving forward with the 500 or are we going to try to take a little bit and reduce that? What I guess that was one of the biggest questions because there was a lot, a lot of talk about that at town meeting. Right. Yeah, but the bond bill passed. Right, so up to 500, correct? Correct, up to 500. Maybe it makes sense too, since we just got that um, grant for the bridge, maybe at our next meeting we can look at, well, well we talked at our last meeting about what we had available in the fund balance, but um, maybe maybe we can look at like the rates and the, right before we put the application in, what the total cost over time is going to be for that. Right, and then, but... So someone, I don't remember who, spoke up about, we, if we use our, our money now. Lynn Gedenken brought that up. Lynn Gedenken. Yep. We use our money now that we have saved to pay for this thing, then the people that are getting sand in 20 years are getting free sand, and they're not paying for their sand. You see what I'm saying? And what the bond boat does is it makes people pay, taxpayers pay every year for their sand, just like they were budgeting it in their budget if you were buying it. Right. 
But if we, if we take money out of our savings account, basically, and pay for it, we're basically gifting them free sand, which is a you know, great concept, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> so um, I, think, I think it's a perfectly valid point of view. I think it's also valid to say, why well, pay a lot of interest if you could avoid it? Well, and so I wonder well, if maybe- we're not, well, They're gonna pay interest no matter what. Right. But I, but I don't know. I think it might be worth looking at something in the middle. Like, if I'd be interested to see like if 30, 70, or 60. Not even like, what if we? I mean, what if years. what if we could put in a hundred thousand from the fund Man, balance? Would that make sense, we or would that so, not make sense? We work so hard to try to reach the recommended percentage. Yes. The only reason that fund is grew the way it did is because of COVID and shit weren't getting done. You didn't spend money. The budget, it was budgeted money that wasn't spent. Mm -hmm. It wasn't we saved money because we did a hell of a job or labor or anything. It was money that wasn't spent. It was, it was, That's how it, it was, was built. it was yep. budgeted to be spent. Circumstances didn't allow it to be spent. The, the work didn't get done. So that went into the surplus. So I just, and, and we've spent it about seven different ways from what I can see anyway. We spent 200 million and we only got 200,000. So every so, time we talk about giving more money, we don't have a big fund balance, do we, that's uncommitted? We're gonna be around 760,000. Uncommitted, no commitment for that whatsoever. Correct. And what's the recommended? Between 15 and 20%. Which yeah. is? 15% uh, is a goal, but I think it says a minimum of 10. You're right, so what's 15%? 10 15, yeah. What's 15%? Um, well, 374, 300, 3.7 million, so 370, and, and I should be able to do this, 150, 185. What do you got, Tom? About 500,000. 515, 515, yeah. So it's not like we have Masses. Masses of money. We don't, and we... Considering if one thing goes wrong, you yeah. drop $100,000 in a heartbeat. Uh, we passed this bomb. We had it. We, it passed almost two to one. We have some big things what coming. What if the sewer... What are we going to do with our sewer sludge? Well, that's it. I mean... It, that doesn't... It has nothing... We can't do anything with this... Yeah, with these funds. It's an enterprise fund. That's, fund. that's, that's a different so. fund. But I also... I also... But there's right. also the town garage project that... We yeah. hope to see coming down the pike, and there's not a lot of grant money for that sort of thing, so that's potentially another bond vote. So, yeah. you know, maybe that would be the thing. It hasn't happened yet, so why would we mess with the bond vote that passed? We yeah. wouldn't mess with a vote. So, I think right. the, the just meant well, the amount of Yeah, okay. and the, the, the taxpayer um, said spend, spend the money. Yeah. Which is, if, and, if they, and they should it, then spend up to 500, which makes sense. But I think we heard a lot of people say also that if there was a way for us to make that a little bit less, even if we said we're going to do four, borrow 400,000, we would still be paying for it for the next 20 years. 20 years. You know, it's so I guess if we have time before the applications due to just see what the difference over time might be, there's no harm in taking a look. Like, if it doesn't take a lot of time to say this no, is the I can difference. Ask the bond bank. Um, because the last estimate I got, interest rate was estimated at 4.61, which is yeah. good, um, good could, could yeah. be higher at this point. Yeah, right. um, and so I could certainly say, can you run 500 and can you run 400? And we can, we can look at that. You have yeah. your hand up. <laughs> well, did you take, I'm going to call it this because I always have it. Did you take some of the slush fund money to set aside for the uh, pedestrian bridge? Yep. Yeah. 100,000. It's already factored yeah. into that. Right, but you just got to grant for 200,000. But yeah. We're, yeah, but we we're need it all. Project. Yeah, we still need it all. We're <laughs> we're using, some of that money is matched, isn't it? It was that the amount that we took from the um, fund, fund balance, fund balance is, mm -hmm. was to match the USDA grant. So all all I'm saying that is that, that if we're not if we're not we submitting an application until yeah. May, 
Can well, we just, I mean, I'm working on it now, but if you want to wait till the next meeting, that's fine. It's not due until May 15th. I, just, so I don't see the harm in asking what the, the difference over time is for 400,000 versus 500,000. Mm -hmm. And then, right? Is that crazy? Yeah. That seems like. Yeah, look at it. I think. The interest rate won't change, just the amount of interest. Right. We right. see right. how much the it is. Like, yeah. yeah. And, that's, mm -hmm. and it's okay if people, I mean, it's, it's also okay if. Kaylee and I are the only ones interested in looking at that. Yeah. As long as, as, long as it doesn't you get a lot of your time. Easy. It's information. It's yeah. information. Information is good. I think. Okay. Somehow, it's still 10 of 6. Yep. <laughs> we're doing um, Yeah, we're perfect. <laughs> we're moving back in time. Uh, okay. So basically, we're you're going to come back. Opie, you're going to come back to us at some point with a purchase and sale that's actually Correct. good to go. Okay. Yeah. And that's going to be not this meeting. It's not tonight. No. Okay. And Casey's working at the bond bank. She can come back to us with more info on the bond. Yeah, I can have that for the next meeting. Awesome. Okay. Uh, do you think the purchase and sale will be ready for next meeting, or do you think it will be later? Mm, I hope it will be ready for next meeting. Okay. Cool. Try. Awesome. I'm going to move us on uh, item four, select board to appoint Elizabeth Dow and Rose Friedman to the committee working to make town meeting more accessible for the future. <sighs> this is another thing that came up at town meeting was um, Rose was wondering if there's a way, like, are there other things we can do? Are there things towns, other towns have done that might work here to get more participation for town meeting? I felt like our town meeting for those who showed up, people were very engaged. It was great. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it was the best town meeting I've ever been. I thought the participation was great. And I yeah. went to a brown bag lunch after, and we talked about town meeting. And when I heard what other people were saying about their attendance, From I other thought towns? it was stellar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was stellar. Right. Yeah. I and mean, I feel like we have pretty good um, discussion at town meeting mm -hmm. generally. And so I thought it was good, but if there are ways to get more people to come out, then I think we should consider that. Well, and the word accessible mm -hmm. reminded me that the um, HCTV has a live feed from the townhouse. Mm -hmm. It does not from the school. That's the big difference mm -hmm. between being able to have it there because people at home could watch it oh. in real time. Mm -hmm. We still couldn't hear them if they were saying I or nay, but uh, the acoustics are a hell of a lot better. No, I mean if they were if they were watching on TV. No, but right. they would they would be able to see it. You know, you don't get to actually watch town meeting until it's edited and dealt mm -hmm. with and yep. comes on. You know, yeah. I don't know how much later than the actual day. It's yeah. just nice to feel like you're still part of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come to town meeting and don't say anything. But they're there, and they get to feel like they're part of it. Yeah. So Rose has said she can be a part of this. And Rose, you willing? Yeah. This is great. I, I can motion. This is the thing I do. <laughs> I can motion to appoint Wiz Dow, Elizabeth Dow, and Rose Freeman to the committee for making town meeting more accessible. Ad hoc committee. Ad hoc committee. Take, um, sorry. It's okay. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great, thank you guys for, for working on that. And <clears throat> do we report, in, historically, do we ever record number of attendance at that meeting? I've never seen any numbers. Um, Tanya had that figure, because um, we sort of do a rough count while we're sitting at that table, and it's in her minutes. Was it 170 something? 140 40? something? 140 yeah. something? 140 maybe? was the number I heard. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. But it was you, in her minutes. But you were wondering, do we have that historically, historically to know? Yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. participation has been in the past? Yeah. Like even the distant past would be interesting. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But it'd be difficult because you don't know how many people are eligible. Right. You know, you, so right. you can't you can't do a comparison of, of percentages. Some voters, you're saying. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Mm. Well, they vote out there too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. But, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. We try to beat it the next year. Yeah. <laughs> we had 140. We get out of 140. All right. Everything's I'm moving this on. Yeah. Item five, business manager, so Casey, to present the third quarter FY24 budget update, which was also in our packet. 
Um, okay, so talking about revenues first. Um, so most of our revenues are on track to meet the budget. We actually have several that are basically further along than we expected because we should be at 75% being that far into our fiscal year. Um, same discussion as before that the actual amount you're seeing is a build amount. Um, if we were to assume that we collect what we expect, then our overall percentage currently would be 75, 77%. So about 2% ahead of schedule. Um, factors, so office revenues are running a little ahead of schedule, copier fees and zoning permits, um, dog licenses, we probably surpassed that once because the deadline was April 3rd and this was run as a 331. Um, and then of course we have some grant revenue that's that's obviously really helping us. Um, so we're about 77% right now. So we have, for tax revenue, we have 54 mil, or 5.4 million um, that's come in. That, I know that includes the school, some of that school that's money. That's built, right. That's like a build amount, like uncollected. Oh, that's, that's uncollected. really what it is because that number oh. actually goes down as we collect because that's billed. That's like right. what that's right. uncollected right now. But it says it's I know, but it, it is until collected. we get it and then it goes to trust me. Yeah. It's, that's, so, it's kind of a funky way, okay. but yes, that's okay, okay, that's okay. Un, really uncollected. So we don't know billed. until after May ten. Correct. How much um, that actually right. Is. And okay. so those tax revenues include property taxes, delinquent fees school admin fee, so it's mm. a few different things. And obviously our delinquent fees come in mostly after May. Um, and then we get our school admin fee for collecting the taxes and those sort of things. So this 3104000 is what we expect to keep if everybody pays their taxes. But the other numbers under the actual column, other than the mm -hmm. tax revenue actual, the others are actually actuals? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Just bill, checking. It's, it's really like a bill, it's billed amount, uncollected amount is really what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you for that clarification. And so you were mentioning it would be earlier that in police revenues there are some new grants and that's what, no. So, oh, ticket revenue and ticket ticket ticket. Okay. Um, so police revenue in general is, a, is, a, is at 151%. Um, ticket revenue <coughs> itself is at 144%. And then you have like outside services that are, which is like your fingerprints. Um, and then we weren't expecting the um, state highway safety office grants, formerly known as the governor's highway safety grants. So we've taken in um, another 10,000 or so in grant income, um, so that's the thought for sure. If you want to be, uh, ticket revenues are up and yeah. fingerprints. And did we budget for fingerprints? I can't, not last year. Uh, well, it goes under outs, um, or does it's I like a miscellaneous? Under, okay. 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 They put it under miscellaneous, okay. Yeah. It's a great service, though, for it folks is. in the community to yeah. not have to go it's far huge. away, to, isn't it? Yeah. To schools, yeah. yeah. It, uh, you know, as you saw in the past, there's people coming in pretty much every day yeah. because now nurses need it. Um, oh, really? Yeah, anybody. <clears throat> anybody working with kids? Yeah. Basically. Everybody wow. has to get fair for now. Yeah. Not me. A machine. Not me. Not me. You, yeah. have to. Of course, you never know. Now that I'm in the employment world, they make you wear it and tell you what you've got to wear for clothes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> not sure I'll cut out to work for somebody. <laughs> Any other questions about revenue? Nope. Okay, so we'll go down to expenses. Um, so expenses, again, we'd expect to be about 75%. Um, we're at 80.5, um, so 5.5% over. Um, all of our VLCT insurances, workers' comp, passive, and employment, they're paid through June 30th. Our county taxes are paid. Um, office budget is about 7% over, and that's really um, our insurance, conferences, dues, advertising, and especially computer services, which is going to be increased significantly in the fiscal year 24 budget because we have a lot of things that... Um, like our email, we now pay for. We didn't used to pay for our email, and that's like a couple hundred dollars a month. And we have the LCT, so we have a number of factors. So our IT, our computer services are significantly over. I thought I thought the email was included in the Google package. 
It is, but we used to have G Suite, which was like free. So yeah, and now we have to pay for our emails. Just so they pulled the fast one. Off. They Feels found like a they way to charge. charge to me. They did. Yeah. They find a way to charge. Yeah, there's me. there's no the, there's they no get free, you sucked in free so anymore deeply. for businesses. And then they start squeezing. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So Damn. Damn. that's a couple thousand dollars here that we hadn't planned on. So anyway. You didn't want to be around the office when that came out. <laughs> The, the email stuff. Uh, when so Google I, first started, yes. its motto was "Don't be evil." That's yeah. true. It's not that their motto. They changed that. Yeah. Don't be poor. Is there no <laughs> it's not a bad thing to pay for computer services because yeah. there's the saying, um, "If you don't pay for the product, you are the product." Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and in Google's cases, it's, it's both. It's very true. It's yeah. both. Yeah. So, Casey, this is a little bit of an abstract question, but so it seems like since we we're coming into our last quarter that we're going to be over budget. Do you feel like in those in some of those expenses that we've captured those in the budget we just passed pretty much? Yes, so okay. a lot of because some a lot of this stuff we knew was in the pipeline so we budgeted for increased yeah. computer for services, diesel, yeah. fuel, oil, VLCT insurance. Yes, we have definitely okay. factored that fuel, in. Uh, fuel and uh, insurance were big ones. The, the yeah. price of diesel, the price of yeah. fuel oil. Salt yeah. too. So highway is currently about 7% over, and that's basically salt, diesel fuel, and equipment expense. Equipment expense um, is $10,000 over currently. Um, blame that on the F-550, but yeah. <laughs> that we ordered, <laughs> ordered a new one about a year and a half ago. Yeah, a while ago. No. no. Eight months, eight six, months. eight months ago, maybe last summer. No, we were supposed to have Oh, okay. So last summer. Summer. six months ago, yeah, yeah. We have ordered it, but unfortunately, we had to keep the one we have going. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> fire department, a little bit ahead of schedule, but not, it's not crazy. Um, and then, so ultimately, 5.5% over on our expenses, about 2% over in revenues, so the net effect is about 3.5% over. I honestly don't think that's horrible, considering some of these outside factors we've dealt with, like with fuel, oil, and diesel fuel, basically we can double what they were in our last budget. And also, it could be, yeah. we won't see those continuing into the next quarter so much, because we won't be heating as much. Right. We won't and be the using salt, salt, we're done with right. salt. I yeah. have one more invoice that I just paid today that will go into that, but that, that's it, no more salt, right? And, oh. and you have Mother Nature. No, we're so. And you have know, um, several things that are already at 100%. That's rescue squad, right. we've dispersed. County taxes, we've dispersed. Right. Because right, they've already been paid. And all so of our those, insurances have been yeah, paid. So that's what I'm, So, like, right. it's. They won't change. So, by the end of the year, it won't. We can right. come back. Yeah. We'll be close to, we can, we'll be close yeah. to budget. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's not like. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's, it's okay. We're, gonna, yeah. we're probably going to be a little bit over, but it's. It's not horrible. It could be a lot worse. It's no big deal. We'll just take it out of the fun <laughs> We did it right. <laughs> For the last time. So, so um, oh, okay. All right. so any other questions about this? Uh, thank you for putting it together, and thank you for summarizing it in this mm. format. It's, uh, I mean, I looked through the... Yeah. Detailed one too, but this is this is nice for for having a conversation. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, next is item six. Select board to discuss Lamoille Valley Ford purchasing town property for parking and EV chargers. Um, I thought we were going to have more info on this. Yeah. Do we not? Okay. Um, I did get a call late in the day um, with some news that um, Rick Welcome got from his engineer that uh, there might not be enough room to even pull off this project. So, oh, yeah. I don't hmm. know. Okay. I don't think. Hmm? Fine. Next item. <laughs> yeah, we can table this. Table it for now. Um, yeah. So we have more info. Right. Okay. And he, he's on his way back from Boston today, so he might come in. He might okay. be swinging in. All right. 
Uh, next is item seven, select board to consider approving a water connection application for Batchelder property on Lamoille Avenue. We have an application in our packet. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's in the packet. I didn't put it in the packet. Well, I sorry, online. The, yeah. I read it online. Yeah. Um, just the water connection. Just water. So why is it not sewer? That was my question. So this is the property that we had uh, discussion about having it be more than 300 feet away from yeah. the sewer main. Yeah. Um, so oh, for sewer. Yeah. So Patrick Larson. That was for both. No. Mm -mm. No. The house is going to be different distances for water and for sewer. No, Wait, there's sorry. I don't there's remember. no 300 foot rule in our water ordinance. Oh, but there is in our sewer. Right. I see. Okay. So they're just doing the water connection and they're putting in a septic system. Correct. But are they 300 feet from the sewer connection? Well, there was some because there was some interpretation of the ordinance and where it was measured from was up for debate. So who's, what do you mean when you say interpretation of the well, ordinance? Well, I would assume that you'd measure the as the crow flies, straight line. The Absolutely. closest point. Absolutely. The closest point from the sewer main. Yep. To the residence. Yes. And the other one was measured from the sewer main along the right of way up to the property. To the no. House. But isn't that where Who's it has to go? That's the length of it. Yeah. Well, Patrick. Is but doesn't it have to go into the on the right of way or not? Well, if it went across another property, there'd have to be easements. Yeah, that so it's got to go right away. Right somebody to. Uh, so no, yeah, it's, it's not, not right, right away, Danny. We no, know. it's not. No, it's no. Not no. Right so way. it's up there. Right, it's up there. Correct. Right yeah. And it's that way is more than three hundred feet. But that's the way the pipe would have to go. Well, right. No. Not necessarily. It would have to. Cro otherwise, would be, it would cross somebody else's property. That would be up to a designer and to determine where the pipe would go. Um, I'm I'm kind of stumped on this one, and well, it's too bad people don't do what they agreed to do. Well, that's I also think that we were very vague by telling them yep. that just move the house 300 feet away, yep. that's and the problem wouldn't be a problem. But I'm I don't know really where to go on this one. We can. We tossed around a couple of ideas. Um, so, can just to clarify, yeah. if you measured from the proposed house, mm -hmm. shortest distance to the sewer main, it's less. It's, it's like within that. It's feet. within that three hundred feet. Correct. But if you measure up the right of way, correct, then it becomes longer than three hundred feet. But. It seems to me, and then there's the they'd have to go up there right away because if they don't, then they have to get an easement or something to dig up somebody else's property. Correct. Which I, I don't know why we would require. Well, they're going to have to get an easement no matter what. Oh, really? Whichever way. If Even they want to connect into where you're talking about down to the where the manhole, manhole is. Right. Yeah. So either way, they're going to have to get an easement from they, that prop. From the, they can't just go down there right away. Because it's not our right of way. You got to remember, we ain't got nothing involved in this. But this is the property's owner's right of way. Yeah. Or, or it's their road. Yeah. They have the right of way up through there. Yeah. But, but, there's, but we already have a utility easement for water through there. For water, yes. Because it goes up to the cemetery. So there's oh. there's a water line close to the house. Oh, so water's closer. Water's closer. Yeah. See, that's why they want the water. So we definitely there's no reason not to approve the water that's in front of Correct. us now. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Well, except for, except for this is our only, you know, the bottom line is we were with Lucy Goosey and tried to help people out, mm -hmm. and they didn't play fair. And now this is our only opportunity to say, hey, you know, I'm this pretty disappointed that I thought definitely we were too Lucy Goosey, but it's disappointing that people take advantage of situations. It's it's the interpretation in their yeah. favor of the ordinance. Yeah. Well that's what interpretations are like, you know, a lot. Everybody's got one. Right. I guess I'm but, still unclear about But for tonight we can't do I mean that's we already had that conversation about sewer and 
They're not they're, asking. For they're sewer. not asking for sewer. They're asking for water, so we can either approve right. that or not. Right. But, right. Say, so, but, but but we could also you could talk hold about the water hostage if you thought that. Well, otherwise, what is the so, penalty from just? Maybe I shouldn't yeah. be involved in this question because I'm the one that had no time to sewer, and if I would have done that interpretation, I would my daughter would have a leach field instead of um, instead of paying sewer. Because their interpretation, they're not going to come here and ask for a sewer connection. Because, because, their, right, because their house is 300 feet away right. from the main. Because they, they think it is. Well, I thought it was too. And when I applied for Emily's water and sewer, yeah. It wasn't. So, well, if we'd have went up the road, it would, it would have been right. way more. It would have been 900. Right. But, so mm -hmm. it does. It is what it is. I mean, it's just disappointing that people. Oh, you're right. The whole point of having an ordinance is that so we treat everybody the same. And we don't have to make one-off decisions. You right. just follow yeah, the but ordinance. I don't. I also agree with Opie that, and I'm, I'm the blame. I'll take the bullet on this one, because I was more than willing to just move your house a few feet if that's the issue. And right. they were like, "Oh yeah, we can do that." <laughs> yeah, good job, hey, Have a nice night. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so are they going to put a leach field? Yes, it's, they have a wastewater permit. From the state. But I don't know if it's, I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to start problems, but I don't know if it's in the appeal period or not. It's a different thing than yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. I'd say. So what's your pleasure? Do we have a motion to approve the water connection or not? I move we approve the water connection. Do we have a second? I can second that. Any other discussion about the water connection or the related no apple no no request for sewer? Yeah, I, th I think we just live and we live and learn on that one. We do better next time. Okay. All in favor please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Thank you. The other thing we're going to start looking out for too on the water part is these houses are getting out farther. We got to make sure they have adequate pressure, more than 32 pounds. If not, that falls back to us, where we got to add another booster station or add this. So it's overall, it's going to start cost us more. The farther we go. Yeah. Well, mostly the farther up we go, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. The higher elevation. Yeah. Right. I mean, that one's probably all right for that reservoir up there now. Close. Well, they don't run off the reservoir, Danny. That right. reservoir up there don't do nothing it, for that, them. Up no, there that the feeds, it, it feeds the... There's a booster station for that area. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right, we got... Right by the road. We got six yeah. tanks in there right now. Yeah. yeah. And they run about 90 PSI up there. Wow. That must be nice. Do we need to articulate this ordinance more carefully? Do we need to take a look at it? And it's something, yeah, we're taking a look at and trying to okay. have read it. Yeah, well, we should have just followed it. But... Several dozen times out loud in my head, upside down, <laughs> sideways. <laughs> yeah. Can't hold your or maybe we should just stick to our guns next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It yeah needs, no, if you're 300 feet, which is. No. Give me a. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm moving us on. I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I said I'd I watched the video too of the meeting. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So let's let's move to uh, item eight, which is um, to consider an application for a central Vermont solid waste. Uh, um, solid well, waste item seven on our paper central here. Vermont solid waste oh, did I just district. that was item seven that we just voted on? District, yes. Central Vermont solid waste management we're, district. We're, we're oh yeah, it is. Sorry. So it's the MSP grant. 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 No, I, um, oh, they do. Okay. They have two grant periods <laughs> a, a year. Mm -hmm. This this grant period, the deadline for application is April 29th, mm -hmm. um, and it's a up to five thousand dollar grant. That um, Tracy and I had a Hi, Tom. had a Zoom call with um, Theron, who's the acting executive director of the Solid Waste District, and runs a grant program. Anyway, so my idea, and I passed it by Tracy and Opie, was to 
finally have Hardwick apply for one of these. We've never applied for one before, but um, for some assistance with the cost of the trash and recycling receptacles that were needed at the pause place and the two trailheads. And, you know, why not try to get a $5,000 grant? Because the recycling and trash things that we're looking at are, you know, industrial grade, because mm -hmm. um, they're going to be at those mm -hmm. trailheads that are not going to have a lot of. Yep. Anyway, yep. and they're expensive. Okay. So. That's what we were Any, uh, to apply for. Any comments from the staff? Um, I think just as part of the grant agreement, we have to commit to maintaining them and arrange for them to be emptied on a regular basis. Yeah, because they don't give the money to a right. town that is and not going to speak, you know, show that it's sustainable what they're purchasing. So it's <laughs> one set at the depot <laughs> and then one up in East Hardwick at the intersection of Stevens Lane <coughs> and now BRT. And the grant would pretty is it a is there a match or does that cover the cost or I wasn't I'm not aware of a match. I um, don't know the answer to that. This is just uh, to take a look at the application and to do it. I don't remember how much they cost each. Tracy started to gather that information, but we didn't want to work on it further without the go ahead mm -hmm. select board. I think it makes sense. I don't know what other people think. I mean if we're gonna put trap I mean there's gonna, gonna be trash. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be so trash. So we may as well make a place for people to put it. Yeah. We also have some uh, <laughs> funds available in our interest. Capital, capital and capital, capital general fund. There's some crude interest over the last few years. Um, well, like 15000 Wait, so four, four trash receptacles are going to cost purchase. more than 5000 bucks. No, but um, there's a lot of things to get. There's We're not in business. I know. <laughs> so the interest money is hopefully going to be helpful for the paving or whatever we do with ledge or yeah. marking and if signage site for the oh, Okay, so I'm going to bring us back to um, let's bring us back to the, the topic at hand, which is solid the Solid waste district is only going to help us with things that are related to solid waste and recycling. So I can so we, so all we need, oh, you're looking for somebody's looking for a, a nod from the select board to have Tracy go ahead and pursue yes. this. Yes. Is that what we're looking for? We don't need a vote right now. So right. Great. Does anybody have any objection to Tracy going ahead and looking into this and following up? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, next item nine is uh, I've got revised price for Caspian Avenue property. Um, I, <laughs> we're going to propose sell the property for 10000 What were the price of 10000 there's some issues with the deed. Uh, two attorneys have looked at it. They're not crazy issues, but they're not, they're cloudy issues with the, the deed. Uh, but we're still covering our costs by, uh, yeah. we're and right we're, there. And we're still confident so, that we're getting the place cleaned up. Yes, I'm not concerned. That deed came to me like, hey, you know, I went to another yeah, attorney. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I went to another attorney. <clears throat> Down here, in green. I think green. Or is that green? David mm -hmm. Green. And he's, green. Yeah. He said the same thing. There's some issues back in the. He actually found more. Issues. Yeah, he actually yeah. found more issues. So it is cloudy. It's not the end of the world, but you know, it's not really worth taking care of if all you're going to do is clean it up, and make it lawn like Dean wants to do. So um, can you know? Dean asked if we could renegotiate mm -hmm. and uh, then he made the offer of 10, 10 mm -hmm. you know and that covers what we have into it and i think we got around about 8500 it was in our packet right yeah it was well, not in your packet i put it in the folder for you just this afternoon in the um, folder about eight, eight, eight and, eight, so. and we don't know exactly i estimated the rest of our legal so yeah right i would make the motion <clears throat> that we sell it for what's owed on it. And that way we're not getting ourselves in a pickle about making money on property or anything like that. And handle it as a tax sale, you know, extended tax sale. And in the agreement, make sure that it's written somewhere that we clean up, it is, it, that it's gotta be cleaned up, just cover our. I think, yeah. I think, um... It sounds, I mean, the thing is, we're going to be incurring legal costs as we go forward. Well, there were some of those estimated. Yeah, it'd be whatever the costs are. We'd sell it, it sounds like 10000 though, is a reasonable uh -huh. estimate of, like, it's right. just 
like it gives us a little bit of room, but it's close well, to what we owe? Or you're saying yeah, like it's calculated care. exactly? I, mean, I'm not, I don't think any of us care about that, but I was just thinking it's... It, it, it's close it, to what we, we have sell into is, it. Yeah, right. We sell for what, what the cost is. And it's going to get cleaned up, which is the big, the big up. thing. It has to get cleaned up. Yeah. Well, the only, pro there's no pro the only problem with that is, first of all, we have to do a revised notice of proposed sale and mm -hmm. post it. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know how and you that's 30 days on post that, right? it, like, and say, okay, it's going to... Like, and we'll then you have to grand. amend the 10,000. Yeah, you, let's just make it 10 for grand. Phone calls for Casey's time. Yeah, for, yep. that's yeah. fine. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. As long as, as long as, you know, our. Um, right there. Right. As long as our reasoning for the price is to cover our costs, yeah. then that's fine. We're not flipping it. No. We're not flipping profits. <laughs> so, are you changing your motion? Yes. <laughs> but it's going to get cleaned up. Yes. It's going to get cleaned up. Yeah. Right. So, I can second. Or so, the, uh, second. so sorry. So the motion is to uh, sell the property, or to initiate the process of selling the property, or sell the property for ten thousand uh, dollars, with a condition that it gets cleaned up. Correct. Okay. Yes, that's the motion. And Very then, well. I speak. Spoke, I speak really good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> And so that process, so, okay, so sorry, we have a motion, we have a second. Um, so let's get through the, uh, any other discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? So motion carries. So the process on that, though, is we post it. it needs to be post. We need 30 days. Yeah. We pass that down. Well, I need so a bit of sign. It's notice. a revised yeah. notice of sale that will be posted in our official paper of record saying that the price is now 10000 Yep. You have oh. it already. Wow, look at you go. Awesome. Are you, that was a good point, Danny. Or, um, we're just going to let Dean, Dean know. We're just going to let Dean know, like tomorrow. That's, or that's his job tomorrow. over here. Yeah. yeah. I'll be sure to let him know. Okay. They, they, and they're aware of everything that's going on. Yeah. Um, well, great. Make, which any, I was happy about. Any, uh, so that's the end of our items, correct? For yeah. adjusted. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I saw it so, select board reports. <laughs> I am excited to report that the screening that happened last Friday night oh, yeah. the Farm uh, Boy, the it. George Woodard film at the townhouse, yeah. had 168 people. So now we know. Three hour movie. How many now, we, now we know how to get more people at town meeting. We'll show a movie. <laughs> how many people does the townhouse hold? Sure. I don't know. The um, right now the balcony is closed. Yep. So on the house floor, 250. Really? And then upstairs, yeah. when it's open, it's more. Will be 80 or so more. So um, that was great. Um, the next week, Hardwick Elementary, I think third grade, is going to have a puppet show for 65 kids and no strings, marionette, something or other coming to, it's a closed thing, it's a school thing. But so two weeks in a row, <laughs> woohoo. <laughs> Great. Um, Casey, I know you're taking minutes and everything, but would it, I sent you an email with a web link. Would it be possible for you to bring yeah, that I up? Yeah, I saw it on my phone already. So yeah, yeah, I, I thought you'd probably see it and be like, oh, geez. Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah. Well, uh, she's working on that. Do yeah, you want? go ahead. Um, it was a fluky thing, and Opie might have some more to add, but we did have a, Tracy and I ended up on a call with Allison Lowe and um, Krista. Could you shoot? Shoot. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Um, there, well, it was just a, uh, kind of a good thing to yeah. know that they're working on the broadband, NEK broadband is working on a grant application that is going to include hardware, hopefully. For three cool. months. From NBRC. Fiber, fiber yeah. Nice. It's coming. West Hill. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming West Hill. To West include the repeat. If that doesn't work, can you just click on the NVDA <laughs> link below? What about this 5G killing us all? It's not We're, right. Right. We're still waiting to see. Yeah, We're still yeah. 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 It's going to be twice as fun. Yeah, so there's my update. Can we start at the top? Yeah, where do you want? Well, right where you were. I will just scroll down through. So this is from, I think, the 1950s, that photo. Um, Car looks newer than that. <laughs> okay, maybe it's newer. So this picture, uh, the next one is an artist, well, an architect's 
rendering and the perspective is sort of standing in front of Moyle Valley Ford looking across the road and I'm gonna try to make it a little bigger. Oh thank you. Uh, and so in this picture the new building looks smaller it, it's the new building footprint is like four to five times the size of the footprint of the yellow barn. So just it's only and it's only a little bit shorter than the barn. But that's sort of the idea. So there's going to be just the barn gets fixed up and there's that one entrance there in between the two. And if you keep scrolling down, I don't know if there's more sort of an aerial. Uh, I don't know if you, can you get can you go up? Oh, and up. Oh. Yeah, that one, the one that keeps disappearing. Okay. So that's sort of the aerial sketch of the, the barn. And then if, so that the new, the yeah, so this design. gives a better idea of yeah. the scale. Huh? Yeah. That's the old design. Oh, that's the old design. So it's a little bit smaller, yeah. but it's not a lot smaller. Can you scroll down a little more? I tried to get, I sent a link to the plans, but Is the plans right are there? huge. The, that one? Yeah, so that gives, um, and that gives, so this one shows you where the rail trail is. Um, and the barn. So in the barn is going to be a, the entire inside of the barn is going to be a Cabot uh, retail store, but there will be visitor center type. There will be some visitor center type components, but there will also be um, uh, kiosks that are that feature other local products. So there, it's not going to be all Cabot. By chance, did you send us all that link? I should have, it's on and our I website. will. It's on our website. But it's it's a pain to find, so I'll send it around yeah, yeah, to everybody. Yeah, yeah. I can send it out. I'm, I'm one of five. <laughs> I'll send, I can send it. Go to the send website. Thank you. It's not the answer. I wanted it. <laughs> so. This is something of a tangent, but I see Peg Marcy's house across yep. the road. Do you know what happened to it? Did, did, did the Yellow Barn people buy it? They or? did not. No, they did not. They uh uh, there was an was effort auction. that wasn't. No, it wasn't. That used to be a beautiful it? old house yeah. inside yeah. 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 In, in the day. I yeah. had friends yeah. live there. Mm -hmm. So, so let me just so also say that okay. the new accelerator building is going to be split roughly 50 50 between Jasper Hill and, um, and the Center for Agricultural Economy. Uh, Center for Ag is going to be uh, doing their um, Just Cut program, which is a bunch of veggies uh, that they need to store um, and then ship out. Uh, and Jasper Hill is going to be... It's Farm Connects. Oh, it's Farm Connects that's going to be in there. Yeah. That's right. Sorry. So it's aggregating local farm um, produce. The distribution center. And then food. distributing it out there. Mm -hmm. And it's food, food security in the area. Too. Partially, yep. Yep. Speaking of which. <laughs> yes. It, Do you mind putting the, this all, that this link is nice in the now, but minutes? I'll put the link in the minutes. This, this is going to be. Or just for, like, it might be nice for people if they're reading the minutes to the, look at oh, the link. Oh, yeah, I can put the, the link. Yep, I'll just put that here. Thank you. So the other, um, so pro the other thing, the, the yellow barn, the part that's not as dark yellow um, towards the rail trail is a patio type thing. That's With a deck. Open to the public. I think it's more like concrete than deck. Yeah. It looks yeah. like a loading Allison dock. To me. And, <laughs> and it's a loading dock. It doubles as a loading dock. You got it. On the far end, it's a loading dock. It's Slash a food truck. The wide yeah. part is. Okay. And um, I think if if you got close and counted, I think you'd find there are only about 22 or 24 parking spots total, mm -hmm. which is why we're talking about. Um, Creating some parking in front of the. Uh, Where is the employee? Place? I mean, that's not even enough for an employee parking. So through this whole time, we said there's got to be some improved gravel parking down by the trailhead that could be used. There's got to be some parking in front of the um, the sewer plant. And the so that if if the Lamoille Valley Ford thing falls through in front of the sewer plant. Um, We'll have to try to do something, some sort of gravel parking lot in front there by yeah, Alishan. That's <laughs> it is. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> so that's a you know, that's a, that's that I had put into perspective. Because yeah. I talked about 
30, 40 jobs. 25 new jobs, yeah. So yeah, the parking lot's full of the visitor center is full of staff parking. So we need to, yeah. And Center for Ag. I mean, that's not, that's not, not good. No, I agree. So that's why we need, so the parking the, right across the rail, directly across the rail trail is the, um, the wastewater plant and the parking right uh, in front of that be down, yeah. would be ideal. So we don't, yeah, that's, you know, well, what are we going to do? I mean, that puts, that would be We've a factor got, for the Lamar Valley Ford project mm -hmm. that would change my mind. Because we're, Why would we're it change your mind? Well, we're going to park. Well, if Lamar well, 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 Valley Ford does it, then right. that, they're going to create parking. But if they don't, if but they're, they're going to create public parking, which is the idea, not employee parking. Right. For the yellow bar. That's well, a huge difference. Right. Right. And especially if I was Rick Welcome, that would be a huge difference. Yeah. And you then take twenty five of my spot or you know twenty five of the, the of public the 20, spots. Of the twenty spot, twenty public spots. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've got we got we uh, shortly we'll have well, shortly. It's gonna be eighteen months roughly. Well it's not gonna go away. It's not going to go away. It's something we need to work on. When do you break ground? Uh, we're hoping to break, break ground in May. So we have a, a New Marcus tax credit closing that's got to happen before May 4th. Well, if you're doing the gravel, then you can a few more. Yeah. <laughs> so then we're going to um, I mean, I can't believe start, we're, start we're spending working. all this money in Hardwick and we're creating more parking problems. <laughs> well, okay. That doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> so. Well, some of those folks that work there might not drive there. Okay. Just saying. They might fight. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. So, so that means you think well, I can't so my, this up. Okay, I can't okay. This stuff up. <laughs> <coughs> so, what I meant to bring up Sorry, was yeah. not necessarily to part, point out the weeks. I mean, I do want <laughs> yes, everybody I, to I know, yeah. but I didn't really want to focus. What I wanted to focus Sorry. on is yes. that we are breaking ground in. May we just signed the uh, we just signed the construction contract like yesterday today uh, with uh, Wright and Morrissey um, and everything is proceeding apace and uh, yeah it's going to be an exciting new project in Hardwick. Congratulations! Yeah, it's a big deal. Well, let's wait until we actually have it. <laughs> my plan my plan is to have parking on both sides of Route 15 and it'll yeah. slow traffic down coming into. The yeah, there you go. And all the people will be walking in the road. Yeah. yeah. The speed bumps of the dead bodies. Oh, oh, people, come on, we got to have a real solution here. This is, this yes, is you're, out. you're absolutely coming. right. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay. I that, have no fear. That I want, that's my deal. I wanted to show the architectural drawings, but they, they didn't want to come excited. up. You just got me excited about the project, and then... <laughs> so I'm, no so I'm going to send to everybody the link because I didn't send it to everybody. I already sent it. Though. Okay, and I also, but also try to put those architectural plans. in. Yep. They, they're huge. The so the question is: Is there room in the budget for a statue of you outside of the? Oh, <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. The, like a power stand. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. There should be. Yeah. Um, I, all right. The same that Eric has been doing. It's incredible. A tremendous amount of work on uh, this project. We appreciate every minute of it. Yeah. No. And it's not, it's it's not, yeah. it's yes, not it's Walmart. Work. It's not Walmart greeter work either. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's legit. It's, it's big serious, project work. Serious, serious shit. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Park. Yeah, it won't work for me building another parking lot. That's right. I just had a couple of old yes, business, maybe for the next meeting. We don't have to talk okay. about it tonight. But I'd love to get an update on the cannabis, cannabis commission. If like what's going on with that, we had like talked, we had appointed a couple people to the cannabis commission. Cannabis, yeah. But then mm -hmm. didn't really hear about it. We only ever talk about it if there's an application. I was just curious about that. And then we haven't heard about the community center at a meeting in a while. So an update on that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. And then we, um, uh, like Jesse and a few people, like. There have oh, been a few that, meetings yeah. where, oh, yeah, where yeah, we've yeah. got okay. updates, so it'd yeah. be great, especially. Um, I agree. I, just Carry an on. update would be great. And then um, an update on where we're at with the, um, we had applied for some money to do a feasibility for the town garage. 
moving the town garage. Oh, we didn't get that grant. We did not get that grant. No. Okay, so, so we then. We need to find another pot of funds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can talk about that at our next meeting or mm -hmm. do like a, like how we're going to. It's your seat. Yeah. Tracy yeah. on that? Yeah. Okay. We're all over it. Cool. Okay. Great. Awesome. Yeah. More reports, old business, new business. Uh, so the uh, application was submitted. I sent, to, I sent a copy to everybody of the Paul Brun Preservation Trust um, for the townhouse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Egress accessibility and the main yeah. building roof. That's great. Yep. So end of the month. Cross your fingers. If, that, if, you, if that's successful, that would give us that a go to, to, fund the project? to go out to bid. Really? That'd be yeah. awesome. That'd be really awesome. Mike Henry. I promise next time I'll be shorter. I forgot uh, one thing. Uh, our town ordinances are uh, a little insufficient for traffic or traffic ordinances. Excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. Um, so the way I have uh, drafted these up, I've only got started on part of them, but uh, I'm going to draft them into uh, three standalone documents. One will be. Uh, uh, speed enforcement, the other one will be uh, sign enforcement, and the third will be parking. Uh, this is the draft uh, ordinance for the speed. Oh boy. I wanted... Can you circulate electronically? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. I can. Um, and again, this is the draft. If everybody could just uh, look at it, see if, if it's up to your standards, then what I would like to do is send this just to the uh, my, uh, leagues of cities and towns just to get their stamp of yep. approval on it, send it back to you, and then have it uh, uh, signed that it needs 30 days at least. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all in there. I can send it electronically. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Great. I love the paper one. I'll keep mine. Thank okay. you. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. That's it. Thanks for, the, thanks for do doing that. the parking one? No. Not yet. No, it's, we're it's coming. This is the only one I've gotten done so far. <laughs> one of three. Okay, thank, right. you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks for working on that. And Amanda helped. Amanda did a lot of the preliminary uh, work on thanks. that. So. Thanks to Amanda, too, then. Yeah. Great. Uh, can I have a motion to go into executive session to discuss something I can't remember? Legal, legal, matter. legal matter pursuant to 1 VSA 313. So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Yes. Carries. In we go. To include the down manager.